Hello, today we will be discussing on algebraic identities. In algebraic identities, there are uh, many ways that the examiners can ask in the questions, uh, but then this that we will be discussing in the follow up uh, questions, these are something which is often asked and uh, many students fail to answer because of the fact that it is somewhat little uh, unique in nature, uh, but let me tell you there are many important formulas, but as far as today's discussion is concerned, there will be two formula that will, you'll be using. One is A plus B A plus B whole square equals to A square plus B square plus 2AB <coughs> and the other is A minus B whole square A square plus B square minus 2AB with this two formula the following questions can be solved and let me tell you in almost every, in almost every of the shift these type of questions are asked and uh, the following questions are based on the previous year's question so in the first question we have is if x plus 1 by x equals to 3 find the value of x square plus 1 by x square if you see here in if you see here consider this as x equals to a 1 by x equals to b <coughs> now what you have to do is uh, look at this you have to have a square plus b square okay so that means from the formula a plus b whole square equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab which means <coughs> which means that you are asked to find out this very part <coughs> this very part is what you are to find out okay therefore now a plus b whole square minus bring this one to the other side to a b equals to a square plus b square so this is what you have now so now taken from uh, the question okay this is what you have to focus on okay now taking from the question a is equals to s and therefore b is equals to 1 by x square uh, uh, 1 by x so a plus 1 by x equals to 3 square both side square both side therefore now this is a a square plus 1 by 2 b square plus 2 into a into 1 by x which is equals to b which is equals to 9 this gets cancelled and therefore x square plus 1 by x square equals to 9 take this uh, 2 to the left side a uh, right side you have minus 2 which is equals to 7 which now we have is x square plus 1 by x square equals to 7 so if you see from here we just have used the algebraic identities the identities is this one the very formula that we have uh, written just below the topics so this is this is how you have to solve so focus on what is given to you this is given to you and especially uh, you'll have to remind yourselves of what is asked this is given this is asked now following up of course the first uh, question is uh, similar to the previous one but we will solve it down so here <coughs> what is given to us 
this is given to us this is the first question this is second question so what you'll have to do so in the uh, first aspect you just have to square them let us do it uh, keep in mind x equals to a 1 by x equals to b and you just have to see see here you just have to use a plus b whole square equals to a square b square plus 2ab so keep in mind you'll be using this so now first question you you are asked to find out okay so use this formula use this formula square both the side see given x plus 1 by x equals to 5 so this is given now square both side so when you square both side which you will have x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x equals to 25 implies that you have x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 equals to 25 which we have now x square plus 1 by x square equals to 25 minus 2 which is equal to 23 now <coughs> what do we have now we already got x square plus 1 by x square equals to 23 so this question is equals to the answer is 23 keeping that in mind we'll go to second question what is given to us uh, given is x plus 1 by x equals to 5 question is x4 plus 1 by x4 equals to what so we'll just uh, instead of solving down again we'll just take from here because we have already solved it down and therefore we have this so now in this case squared square both sides uh, of this so you, when you square both sides of this x4 sorry x square plus 1 by x square square equals to square which you'll have x4 plus 1 by x4 plus 2 into x square into 1 by x square equals to uh, 23 square is equals to 5 to 9 so what we will have now x4 plus 1 by x4 equals to 5 to 9 minus 2 which is equals to 5 to 7 so the answer for this is 5 to 7 so you see the only formula that we will be using is this as long as there is positive here there are shortcuts but then in this video i'm more f i'm more uh, focused on giving you some basic ideas of how they are solved and of course shortcuts you can learn it when you have mastered this uh, very basic part and yes indeed shortcut is uh, uh, beneficial as as far as exam is concerned for example in this case when you are asked to find out x square plus 1 by x square the sim simplest way is simplest way is to find this you just have to square this square of 5 equal minus 2 so 25 minus 2 which is equals to 23 so in few lines you will be able to solve so this is how you will have to solve this is shortcut tricks instead of solving all this down but as uh, reminding you again uh, the the concern for this video is to show you basics 
So, <coughs> repeating the previous questions, of course not exactly the same, here we have uh, 4 and previously we have 5. So, by pausing this very video, I encourage you to solve yourself once and try to get these answers. The first answer is going to be 14. The second answer is going to be 14 squared is equals to 196 minus 2, 194. Do you get the answer? If not, let us solve down together once more. First, let us so solve through this uh, this uh, shortcut tricks. We have x square plus 1 by x square equals to us. Given is given is x plus 1 by x equals to 4. This is given. This is asked. So when you are asked to find out square for uh, for this one, what shortcut short shortcut ways is like this x square plus 1 by x square equals to square of this for square minus 2 which is equal to 16 minus 2 which is equal to 14 again in the this is the first one second one when you are asked to find out uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4 square this uh, square of this is 196 minus 2 which you'll get as 194 you see these are shortcut tricks for getting this uh, shortcut tricks let us solve down together once more given x plus 1 by x equals to 4 ask what Squaring this both side, x plus 1 by x, this is square, x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 into x into 1 by x equals to square. keep in mind there is a difference of implies and equal to they are not same this is not same with equal to okay equal to is used when the left hand side as well as the right hand side is equal implies is used when the previous solution previous equation follows up okay. the previous solution is follows up like this in our case this is follows up by this one okay so when that is there implies this is used so it is wrong to use here equal to as well as here equal to it is wrong to use that because we have two side okay we have two side you will have to use implies because you are following up this one in the follow-up equation and there is equal to here so usage of equal to is different with implies now our solution we have got is this okay now in our uh, second question what we are asked to find out is x4 1 by x4 equals to what this is what we are asked to find out and since we have already got this we will be using this again square both the side when you square both the side it becomes 4 4 plus 2 into x square 1 by x square equals to 196 so now x4 plus 1 by x4 plus 2 equals to 196 x4 plus 1 by x4 equals to 196 minus 2 which is equals to 194 you see 194 
So, today my main concern is uh, on addition, but I have written here on the top side, I have written here for negative also. What I'm trying to tell you is that even if there is uh, negative in the questions, for example, if they ask something like this, you will just have to use this formula, same as what we have done here, and then you will get the answer. See, there are many ways that they can ask. They may give you uh, plus 1 by x4 equals to some value, let's say 15. And you will have to find out x uh, plus 1 by x. So these things I will show you in the follow-up videos. And then if you have any confusion so far, you are most welcome to drop a comment. And I hope as far as this plus addition part is concerned, I hope you will be able to solve. All the best. Thank you.